I came at a bad time. No, no. I think you couldn't have timed it better. 234715 system time. Very punctual, Kafka. Mm, Elio always tells the exact future. So what's with the explosion just now? Was that also part of his script? Uh-huh. 234459 system time. The pulses from the explosion cause a massive breakdown from the master control system. You did that. No. The Antimatter Legion did it. They completely invaded the space station two system hours ago. Alright. So do we need to fight the Legion? I don't know. Elio didn't say anything about it, so it doesn't matter. Got it. So from now on, I'll be in charge of this operation. Copy. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. Sorry, I'm afraid there is not much I can do for you. Our task this time is just to place the target properly. But if you want to go look for some fun yourself, I won't stop you. I mean, after all. <laughs> After all, Elio didn't put it in the script. Why would it matter? Hurt. That breathing sensation. Remember it. Who's this? Herta? Yeah. <laughs> she looks so young. She was already famous in the last Amber era, no? She has to be at least a hundred years old. She's a member of the Genius Society, and an emanator of Noose the Erudition. She could probably age backwards if she wanted. 
<laughs> yeah, I seem to recall that over half of the Genius Society's 80-odd members had a normal death. Wasn't there someone who lived for a dozen days or so? What was their name? Oh. <laughs> That's pretty normal. Aren't the immortal bosses in games always waiting for the protagonist to come kill them? <laughs> Immortality is not always a good thing. <laughs> oh, what an alliance joke. This is Madame Herda, or better known as Member 83 of the Genius Society. In her childhood, she solved the solitary waves theory and the spark model hypotheses. In her adolescence, she found the Sigma variance conversion method. In middle age, she proposed the Herda sequence and published a paper on the aging. In her senior years, she managed to reverse her own age via de-aging and went on to solve the mystery of the imaginary leakage phenomenon and even captured and sealed a Stellaron. Madame Herda has saved the planet she was on from destruction 19 times and has met the eons twice. This space station is her property. Matter Legion become so weak. I could only attract this much. Did you really want the entire Legion to come here? Oh, this lot won't be able to slow down the Astral Express crew. Relax. A Doomsday Beast is also here. This is Xander, Xander One Kuwabara, the first genius in history. The one who supposedly created Noose? Yeah, that's him. If the legends are true, then he was a man who created an Eon. Well, they better be false. I don't want to be a Xandar hunter. Xandar One Kuwabara. Genius Society member one. I hung up his portrait purely out of respect. Without him, there would be no Genius Society today. Frankly, I don't know what he has achieved. None of his books and inventions have survived. Uh, but there's gotta be a place for the founder of the society, right? I know this person. She's the Lord of Silence. Poka Kakamon. 
see. Her face is all blank. She had destroyed all of her own portraits and sculptures in the entire universe. Uh. I'm not interested. Hurry up with our real business. was how Alio got his eyes on you. Imagine someone actually able to crack Skrulem's code. First Skrulem, then Herta. Not there's probably no one else in the universe who offended two genii in such quick succession. It must be destiny. Ugh, seems like I'm the real destiny slave here. Kill them all. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Uh, 
yeah, yeah. Where did you send it, Silverwolf? Some random coordinates, not important. You care about where that Void Ranger ended up? Of course not. I'm just amazed that this fancy technique of yours, as usual. <sighs> just a little trick of tampering with the data of reality. I wouldn't call it fancy. What were you looking at so intently just now? Let me see. Herta's Toys, a catalog featuring the space station's collection of rare items. They've got a lot of interesting gadgets. Like what? There's this gun. It can rate any creature within its crosshair as a score from 0 to 100. Uh, doesn't sound very interesting. Oh. Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kinda wanna know mine. Fine, I guess we can swing by and play with it if it's not too far. What's our destination? Go down the corridor behind the door on the left. There's a room where some kind of rare item is stored. Oh, so that's where the Stellaron is. That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is. Curious about the tastes of someone who used their own name for a space station. Never seen the real one. Saw plenty of her portraits, though. Ah, oh, what a pity. of the space station is up ahead. There will be lots of Legion Void Rangers there. Okay. May as well kill them all. Can you 
Can you let me have some fun this time? Time for a buzz. <laughs> this combat needs optimizing. Hmm. At this speed, too slow. Someone or something is up ahead. Looks like we're the ones getting ambushed. But they're the ones getting besieged. That breathing sensation. Remember it. Took the bait just like that. Good times never last. Time to say bye. soul here. Impressive evacuation work. Did Herda organize it herself? According to the access history, she hasn't logged in here for over six months. The evacuation was directed by the acting lead researcher, a girl named Asta. 
It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, right. Elio said we wouldn't run into her to... It seems she really isn't here. Where's the Stellaron? Elio's script doesn't include any info about the location of the Stellaron, which means in the future he foresees... We would find the Stellaron in a non-physical way. This space station is packed with extraordinary objects. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one that can make it happen. Well, hiding something extraordinary with something extraordinary. This is pretty Herta. I assume you know what to do. I mean, you've read the catalog for quite a while. I've got all the clues we need. The only piece missing is a simple trick. Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Our item might be inside. Okay, the stage is yours. see the memory storage for this terminal. This is the monitoring room. They must have deleted the records and made a run for it. Classic. see the whole space station on the surveillance screen, but not the Stellaron. Even if you could, it'd be a trap. Herta doesn't display her collections. <sighs> Make your way over here then. There's no point in trying to search like this. Got a master plan? I'm all ears. It's a matter of hacking the surveillance system directly. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Herta's collections aren't in the system, so anything unaffected should be our target. Simple, crude, but effective. Look, found it. this item number 211 line spot a simple light deflecting field it allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed but if a different item ceases to be obvious the object gets revealed so herta hides her collection with something as simple as this the simplest method is the hardest to spot isn't that our motto suggests it's just an ordinary hologram, but it has an added layer. Let's take a look. Don't worry, 
This place won't be our grave. Interesting. She's a member of the Genius Society, all right. The Stellaron is up ahead. Let's hurry. Huh. It has its own security system. I guess even for Herta, Stellaron is no ordinary rarity. Can you get it? Of course. Even the Genius Herta can't compete with me when it comes to hacking. Good. Then I'll also count on you with the preparation of the receptacle. The receptacle's ready. Your decision. <laughs> Elio said this decision will bring about lots of changes. He also said it must be you who makes it. standing around, having second thoughts. Yeah, we've always been the ones taking Stellarons. It's the first time we're giving one out. Want to give him a new name? <clears throat> me. <sighs> Listen, you are in a daze right now. You don't know who you are, why you're here, or what you're going to do next. You think I look familiar, but you're not sure if you should trust me. None of that matters. All you need to know is that I'm leaving and you will be left all alone on this space station. From now on, you needn't think about your past or doubt yourself. Listen, in the near future, you will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but you will also have many wonderful experiences. You'll meet companions who will treat you like family and embark on surreal adventures with them. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. This is your future that Elio has foreseen. Do you like it? The next stop to pave the way for the future that is written. It's like weaving brocade. You and I can only add one gold thread each time, but eventually, we will make a gorgeous pattern. How long do you think you need? According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. We should avoid being seen by them. I know, Silverwolf. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. Don't worry, someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. You won't remember a thing except me. When you have a chance to make a choice, make one that you know you won't regret.
Weren't there coordinates sent out from the space station? Who cares? They're here and alive. Do they look like a mannequin to you? <sighs> Weak heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. Remember your name. Nice to meet you. My name's Don Hung, and this is March 7th. This space station was just attacked by the Antimatter Legion. We came to help with the rescue at the request of lead researcher Asta. Goons owned by the destruction. You're lucky the most dangerous Lord Ravager among them isn't around. Just some nasty minions. We'll take those invaders out soon. Don't worry. Uh-huh. A petite cutie with pink hair? Madam Herta appointed her to be the acting lead researcher. That girl really needs to step up. I can't believe her own employee doesn't even know her name. Back to the Master Control Zone. Asta and the other researchers have gathered there. Plus, that's where we parked the Astral Express! Don't you worry, we'll protect you from the monsters and clear up this mess. Don Hong and I are members of the Astral Express crew. Well, the Express has some dealings with Madame Herta, so we come to visit the space station from time to time. We just so happened to arrive during this invasion. Of course, as a <coughs> crew of heroes, we're happy to lend a hand. Yeah, you've never seen it? The Express comes here every once in a while. It's a unique train that can travel between the stars with the power of the Trailblaze Eon. I'll show you once we're back to the Master Control Zone. You and March go back together. Arlan from the security department lost contact in the vicinity. I need to find him first. Oh, all right. You stay safe. Hmm. Maybe you should take this. The Legion are rampaging through the space station like a pack of wolves. This trip won't be a walk in the park. It's better if you have something to protect yourself. Just a suggestion, though. You're safe as long as you stick with me.
gadgets. Heard us collection. I really don't get why she'd go out of her way to collect them and then leave them here to gather dust. Make it quick. You 
stronger than you look. Seem to be quite the fighter. to go down to the master control zone. Do you know the way? Um, I noticed that you're not wearing the space station staff uniform. Do you really work here? Memory loss, huh? You must have been injured. Never mind. I won't ask if you don't want to talk about it. Let's go. I'll take you to the safe zone. Go. done it without me.
me. The Antimatter Legion must have broken it. <sighs> Too bad Don Hung's not here. He's like a walking encyclopedia. He knows a ton of complicated stuff. Maybe even elevator repair. Uh, I don't know that one. Whoa! <sighs> Why are you here? And how did you get here before us? I took another route to the upper level, and I saw you guys from up there. Arlan is in the control room. He's been injured, but not fatally. You found him? Will he know what to do about this elevator? I suppose as the head of the security department, he should know. Then let's go talk to him. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. I told you I could fight. running into me. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. <laughs> Clemency, the time is now. You couldn't have done it without me. together? Yep, we're from the Astral Express. Oh, did Madame Herta send you to help? It's just a coincidence. We came to deliver the rare relic Herta trusted us to find. We didn't expect to arrive during an invasion. Why is the Antimatter Legion targeting you guys? It seems they just ignored the surface of the planet and came straight to the space station. I... I have no idea. The Legion came at a very suspicious time, almost right after the security system suddenly failed. Lady... Lead researcher Asta immediately began to organize the evacuation. I was supposed to cover everyone as they evacuated, but... I 
didn't expect to end up failing in this task. Don't be too hard on yourself. Your leg and dominant hand were injured. It was a wise decision to hide here and avoid a head-on encounter with the Legion. Yeah, most of the staff have been evacuated safely. So right now our highest priority is to return to the Master Control Zone and plan a counterattack. So, do you know how to use the elevator? I couldn't start it. After the evacuation was complete, the elevators were all shut down to keep the Legion away from the Master Control Zone. Since Lady Asta sent you to look for me, I assume she must have given you the encryption key for accessing the elevator system? Oh, right. She did give me some sort of card. Mm. March. But where did I put it? You... Now that we found the key, we should get going. We can use that console over there to unlock the elevator. Let's go. Hold on. I only activated the elevator on the highest floor. We'll have to go there to use it. I mustn't give the Legion any chance to reach the Master Control Zone by the elevator. I must ensure the safety of the station staff. So I'll have to trouble you to take a bit of a detour. Apologies. Huh? You're not coming with us? My leg is injured. I'd only slow you down. I'll stay here and shut down the elevator once you've made it to the Master Control Zone. You won't slow us down. And you should be able to shut down the elevators from the Master Control Zone, right? Agreed. He and I made it here safely. And now we've also got Don Hung. We're more than enough to protect you. Let us worry about the Antimatter Legion. You just follow us and keep yourself alive. Thank you. Better. This will strengthen our position. It's too late to repent. Stop. Guarantee future ones. Step aside. 
side. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Clemency? Never heard of it. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Pulsion bridge has been shut down? Yes, to stall the enemy, more or less. Truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Victories don't guarantee future ones. Uh, hey, these shiny things. Are these light cones? I thought only the Interastral Peace Corporation had rare stuff like this. No. Light cones are Garden of Recollection technology. They allow you to carry memories around. Very potent enhancement items. I heard the corporation paid a lot for the usage rights, but I've no idea how Herta managed to get hold of one. They were acquired legit. That's all I can say. Take them. They're very useful in combat.
we've redo the elevator already? That wasn't too many monsters. Ugh, probably shouldn't have said that. Might bring bad luck. You've grown, March. No interest in stoking. I told you I could fight. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant, this sanctuary. It's but a vision! Clemency? Never heard of it. You have the worst luck running into me. Watch this! get this exciting. Anyway, at least you're back. March, Dan Hung, you've been through a lot. Oh, you, Himeko, what took you so long? That last wave of antimatter legion came at us like a swarm of locusts. Have you ever tried shooting locusts with a bow? I wouldn't have made a difference. My orbital cannon can deal with a whole bunch of enemies at once, but I couldn't just blow up the space station with it. Herda would not like that. <sighs> Are you all right, Arlam? Asta's been worried about you. I'm fine. A quick patching up will do. Thanks for asking. I'll report the situation to lead researcher Asta immediately. Bye. Nice to meet you. I'm Himiko, navigator of the Astral Express. 
In other words, she's in charge of where the express goes. March hasn't been any trouble for you along the way, has she? Think carefully about how you want to reply to that. I have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Look at you all. You've already gotten really close. Come on, Asta's been worried about all of you. High. Maintain at normal levels. Our measurements predict that the Legion is about to unleash over 10 waves of continuous attacks. Everyone, brace yourselves. Asta, we're back. Oh, I'm glad you're all back safe. Arlen just told me about the situation at the storage zone and about his injury. Thank you for all your help. In times of disaster, I realize more and more that Space Station's researchers are its most valuable assets. Alas, we were ill-prepared for such emergencies. We should have built up our security and combat departments. But on the other hand, the entire crew of the Astral Express seems to be extraordinarily skilled. What is the current situation on the Space Station? The situation is under control for now. The damage to our security system was minor. The intruder only managed to alter a small amount of data, so it was easy to fix. The real problem lies with the researchers. They trust Madame Herta wholeheartedly and never thought that the space station would be breached by the Legion. Hmm. A broken spirit is far worse than a broken body. Let's go speak with the researchers. Right now, the space station can't afford any more unexpected turns, especially from within. Have you tried contacting Herda? I sent multiple letters, all met with silence. You know her, Himiko? The space station is but a mere warehouse for followers and rare items. She doesn't really care about it. I knew it. No matter. I'll also send a letter to Herda and tell her that we've brought the rare item she seeks. At least that might get her attention. Oh, that would be of great help.
I'll leave the reassurance of the researchers in your hands. Hello, how can I help you? This is Herta Space Station. As you might tell from its name, it belongs to the distinguished Madame Herta herself. Herta Space Station was originally built as a warehouse for rare items and relics, but Madame Herta also allowed her followers to oversee tasks and conduct research, then gradually turned into a scientific research base. The storage zone you pass through contains all our inventory and is the main research center. The master control zone where we are now is the control center of the whole space station. It is said that the space station also contains Madame Herta's private chamber, where her most precious, rare, and dangerous collections are sealed. And for someone like her, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Even for me, the lead researcher, there are many things she keeps secret. I'm lead researcher of Herta Space Station. But honestly, I'm more like Madame Herta's housekeeper of this place. Madame Herta is a genius, but managing disparate staff, tactfully representing the space station before the Intelligentsia Guild, these are all things beyond her abilities. But as it turns out, they are my forte. <laughs> Scholars are a lot easier to deal with than those vociferous old geezers back home. No matter how much they drone on about astronomy is just about looking at things that doesn't bring any real value, they all fall silent in front of Madame Herta. No matter the problem, you just needed to say that it was Madame Herta's wishes and all would be fine. After all, Herta herself is a symbol of wisdom. And thanks to her, I can count the stars to sleep. Otherwise, I would have had to inherit the family fortune, and ugh, just thinking about it terrifies me. Arlen went to dress his wounds at the rest area. He knows himself well, but if he insists on pushing his limits, I'll give him a good earful. I'm very upset he didn't obey my orders and insisted on searching the storage zone, even though everyone had already evacuated. I know he didn't want to leave any researchers behind. The security department is more than just a job to him. But Harlan doesn't care about getting hurt. He only cares about protecting others. It's the only way he feels fulfilled. And it's not that I don't understand where he's coming from. I just want him to look out for himself, too. Herta. She's a member of the Genius Society. One of the proud favorites of the Eon of Erudition. Ever since the birth of Noose, there have only been 84 people admitted into the Genius Society. That is why Madame Herta is extremely headstrong. She only pursues what interests her, and as soon as that interest is lost, she abandons it and moves on. The space station was one such abandoned interest. Anyway, I lent out one of her manuscripts as a resource reference not long ago. It should still be in the Master Control Zone. You can take a look if you wish. Huh. Chatting with you seems to have lightened my mood. Seems like talking can really raise one's spirits. What's the matter? You seem to have something on your mind. Oh, 
who exactly you are escapes me, but you seem familiar to me. I have a couple of hunches, but I can't prove any at this point, so they'll be my little secrets for now. Are you concerned about your past? You seem like someone who prefers to look forward rather than back. Or maybe I'm just describing myself. Basically speaking, it's a train that travels through space. But more specifically, the Astral Express was a creation of the Eon, Akavili the Trailblazer. As for what the Trailblaze, the Eons, and Akavili are all about, let's talk about it when things have calmed down a little. I don't want to overwhelm you now, do I? Light cones were created by the Garden of Recollection. These followers of the Eon of Remembrance refined memory fragments to create light cones, which preserve memories. But you've already realized it, haven't you? Since light cones can preserve memories, they can also preserve experiences and abilities. That's why light cones are extremely precious rare items under level two restriction by the Interastral Peace Corporation. As far as I know, only the IPC possesses light cone technology authorized by the Garden of Recollection. I couldn't say what deal Herta made with the Garden, but knowing her, it was likely off the books. You should cherish every light cone. They are all precious memories of their original owners. Come find me anytime if you have more questions. Thank you. 